Hello, this is my fatwood stick fire starter with a pine pitch and jute twine igniter. You could ignite this just by using your ferrocium rod. I personally had processed this uh, fatwood stick myself to ensure that there are no slivers or splinters in it. And I have also personally gathered all the fatwood that I made the stick with. These are just uh, a few samples of it right here. Um, as you look at this fatwood right here, you can tell how high quality it is by the coloring. As you can see, it's deep red in color, and that means that it uh, have a high concentration of uh, resin in it. Um, if you look at this one even, right here, the bark is literally glistening because there was there's so much pine uh, pine resin that was going through the wood that it started to ooze out of the bark. Anyway, in order to um, use the, the the fat wood stick as a fire starter and to be able to ignite it, we need to gently pound out the tip of this jute twine right here. So I'm just going to use the back of my back end of my knife to do this and once you've done that all you need to do is just flop it up and just basically after you flop it up just take your first swim rod and have that in my pocket here and you could actually use the stick itself as a platform so that you don't need to put this on the ground to ignite it all you need to do is keep it in your hand and you could ignite this standing up or walking even if you're uh, somewhere where it's uh, where there's no place to actually put it down by using the stick put the kerosene rod right on top of it and just ignite it from there there we go just gonna hold this and keep the camera on on for a little bit here just so you could so that you could see how good this thing burns gotta be careful because this um, pitch on the igniter could actually start to dribble down you don't want to drip down onto your foot if you're barefoot or any part of your body as you can see the black smoke coming out of this it's kind of windy out here as you could tell but this thing is nice and lit anyway once you started your fire and you actually still have some of this stick left you could put it out and you could actually reuse it okay i i processed this stick enough so that it's not too thick it's just thin enough that it's really easy to um, use your striker that is made out of hard uh, material to actually feather the edges of this really quick so once you've used it already and you want to reuse it basically all you need to do is use the edge of your striker and feather it a little bit like that you don't need very much set it on the ground and basically you could reignite it Oops wind is blowing it out but as you could see how easy it was for me to start a fire there so we'll do that again and basically I'm trying to be careful here and just keep the feather on the stick itself take some of these other ones right here and when I ignite it, I want to ignite it on the stick itself. 
just like that. So now, the stick is on fire again. So you could you reuse this two or three times as you'd like. You could see the, I'm gonna come closer to the camera here. And you could see, because of the high quality of, uh, what, uh, of the fat wood itself, you could see how sizzling the fire is. You could see it actually sizzle. Get my face away from the smoke here. See that? Right there. All right, so that is my fatwood stick fire starter with a pine pitch jute twine igniter.